In some cases, for some reason, even eating a plant-based diet with no oils, no sugars, just cooked plant foods, it does interfere with the repair. If it interferes enough to stop your recovery, that seems to be individualized. But there definitely is something. I've not been successful to go raw for dinner. Will healing go on without being all raw? And can I really heal from lupus photosensitivity? Seems too much to hope for. Uh, as someone who used to not be able to go in the sun without having a flare uh, that now spends all day in the sun as much as possible, yes. And I've had many, many folks follow me and been able to do that. It's when the lupus is gone, then the sensitivities go away. And that's the important part. Whenever people tell me, oh, I did this other diet and yeah, I got rid of my lupus, but I can't go in the sun and I can't eat this. I'm like, you didn't get rid of it. You, you got, you lowered your sensitivities and you improved, but it's not gone or you wouldn't have those reactions anymore. So absolutely. In terms of whether or not you have to be all raw, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so there's some people who are able to get really good results by adding hypernourishment to a plant-based diet that doesn't have anything inflammatory in it. And they do really, really well. And then there's other folks that need to be more aggressive, right? So um, I, I kind of call it faster recovery. The people who do mostly raw, but then at the end of the day might add a little potato or beans. A lot of people have tagged me on Instagram or made YouTube videos who reversed their diseases and said that's what they did. And they still got reversal of their labs and all that kind of stuff. Um, the fastest approach that works the best hands down is pure hypernourishment, but it's very difficult to do. You know, food addiction is a real thing and it's not easy for people to do that, but it's super effective. So what I would say is if it's working for you, keep doing it. But if a few weeks go by and there's no change or you get a change, but then it stops, then you know how to go more aggressive. The more of your diet that comes from hypernourishment, the more effective it's going to be. And, you know, I don't know why it is yet. I have theories, but theories don't matter. Um, but for some reason, there are people who will not get that full reversal unless they're 100 percent pure hypernourishment. For some reason, with some people, their body doesn't drop into that full disease reversal repair mode until there's no other distractions. The most telling example of that I've seen is people with kidney failure. I've had people with kidney failure who are like, oh, I don't wanna eat all raw. And then so they do like high raw and, and it stabilizes the lupus, the markers, all that kind of stuff. Even the kidney failure can stabilize, but I don't see it shooting up. And one of the examples I give was actually one in the, the study I published was you know a guy who, he actually reversed it completely uh, the first time. And then as soon as he had full reversal of all of his labs and his kidney function, everything was back to normal. He went to eating like, you know, take out Chinese food and oily stuff and all this stuff and high stress, stop sleeping. And, you know, he wasn't fully recovered yet. Recovered enough not to have any symptoms doesn't mean that, and, and to have good labs that just happened, didn't undo decades of damage, all right? And people get excited, oh, I'm done. And then they like try to go back. So anyway, he started getting his markers back up. And at that point, he goes, ah, I'm addicted to food again. I don't want to go all raw again, even though that's what worked for him. So he said, I'm going to do double the hypernourishment. I'm going to have two blenders a day. I'm going to max out everything and just have a little bowl of potatoes, beans, et cetera, at night. And everything stabilized, but his kidney function stayed the same. It stopped getting worse, but didn't get better. And after two months of this, I said, please, please do me a favor. Just knock out that final meal of cooked food for me and let's see what happens. In two weeks, his kidney function shot up 20%. So it proved to me what I've been seeing is that in some cases, for some reason, even eating a plant-based diet with no oils, no sugars, just cooked plant foods, it does interfere with the repair. If it interferes enough to stop your recovery, that seems to be individualized. But there definitely is something, because I wondered initially, is it only because of in rapid recovery with me, people also deal with the emotional stuff? Because listen, emotional trauma, also causes autoimmune disease. I mean, there's a direct link between depression, anxiety, auto, and, and trauma and development of autoimmune disease. And I'm a trauma specialist. So that's why my emotion, my, uh, my group program includes all that kind of work. Cause I know how to help people with all that at once. So I'm like, is it only the emotional support? Is there something to pure hypernourishment? And that has shown that definitely there's something to pure hypernourishment. So I don't know if you're one of those people that will need to do that or not. The only way to know is by trying it out. So try it. And then if it's not working, you know the next step is to go more intensively.